A Chinese calligraphy exhibition showcasing the work of Asian history students from the ANU College of Asia and Pacific opened at the University School of Art this week. Offered to students at the College's School of Culture, History and Language, teacher Sintian Liao says the ancient practice can take a lifetime to learn. But the good news is beginners can master the basics in 10 to 13 weeks. I strongly believe that all students, no matter what their cultural background, no matter if they study Chinese uh, Mandarin or where their background, they can learn how the curriculum. The exhibition aims to cross boundaries in the hope of reaching a diverse audience while showing that Chinese culture isn't something only the Chinese can experience. There's a lot of uh, practice required, um, a lot of patience, and you've got to be willing to put um, everything aside and just focus on what you're doing, which I think I've achieved in my work. It's a funny feeling because you're relaxed but at the same time you really want to do well. I tried calligraphy before, I thought it was just you see something you paint it, you write it, and that was it. The course has taught me that I can't be amazing at everything first go. I thought I would go into calligraphy and find it really, really easy, but I've really had to work hard, and so it's been a good experience. The creation of calligraphy involves sitting patiently, breathing slowly, and being in control of the brush. To master the traditional art form, Sinti and Lao encourages students to adopt relaxation techniques similar to those used in meditation. So my piece here, um, it's a Taiwanese idiom. In Taiwanese, mong la gam se gok. It means you go to the river to collect clams and you wash your pants at the same time. So it's like two birds, one stone. And when I was living in Taiwan, um, I learned this idiom, I would say it to the older generation. Um, they would bring a smile to their face straight away because it was something in their culture that they understood.